Hi, this is Varun Chopra and my project is Voice Recognition and Identification System. It is on MATLAB platform. There are four other partners than me, as you can see. This is me. So if we look at the menu, we try to make it as self-explanatory as possible. That is, we divide it into steps that how this recognition process is being carried out. This is a very small prototype model. Likewise, it is including MFCC, male frequency sepsial coefficient is computed and then vector quantization is carried out. You can check out the references in the links below. So let us go by step by step to check out the options. Likewise, the first one is human speaker recognition. Now, as you can see, there is a, let me show you. the folders in which uh, this project is running this is the folder as you can see there is a test folder and a train folder test also contains 8 files and train also contains 8 files so likewise what we are working is we are looking after each and every test and train file and also the user defined database that is we have stored in the database for recognition purposes likewise we can change their names or we can add any other file likewise if we try let us play a game which has been present if we play each and every signal in the train folder Zero. likewise this is signal one Zero. signal two and so on and if we try to identify by playing in the test folder Zero. then it is very difficult but if i play the user folder database which i already know I would know that this is a uh, my friend voice, Anupam's voice. So this is how it works. So uh, we do not uh, focus on the sampling frequency and stuff. We just work on the accent or the speed or the how the the way in which a person talks. Now uh, next step is technical data of the samples. In this, the voice signal in the time domain is shown. Like as you can see the test. This these tests and train are studio quality signals. Like as you can see. Here minus 0.4 to 0.5 Here are its amplitude and time is defined. This is a simple subplot plot function. You can also check out any user database stored. Here there are 10 words. Likewise, let me check on the 5. Here the range is increased. You see 0 0.8 say minus 0 0.8. As the intensity with which my friend has spoken is quite a lot. You can see. Next option is the power spectrum. It shows the linear and logarithmic spectrum plot. What does it mean is uh, likewise there are points. We have shown the points in the linear plot. This is the linear plot. There is a command called image SC for plotting of the data points in the color intensity form. Likewise the blue color represent 50 value. Yellow and red which represent 250 to 350 are of major concern here and are widely used and are uh, for our use only so if we see that we take logarithmic of this power spectrum then we get all the yellow and red component which are present likewise you can see this is the required information which we want similarly the next step which comes how can I check the values of M and N? Means N is our sampling frequency rate and M is the distance between beginning of the frames. So I take M is equal to N by 3 for reference purposes and frames are calculated by MALFV functions, normal functions. So what I see is when the N is very low, then its frequent time domain is defined very good. You can see that its time domain resolution is very high and when I take n is equal to 512 its frequency uh, domain resolution